Guys, it is going down this weekend at UFC 292 as Sterling defends his belt against Sugar Sean O'Malley. And my partners at DraftKings are offering an incredible deal for all new customers who sign up using my promo code SUNNEN. New customers can bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights and receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. You can even use your bonus bets on DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. Remember, DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry, you can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. So click on the link below and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. All right, my official prediction for Ian Gary versus Neil Magny. Now, if you follow me over here, I've been telling you all week, I don't agree with the chalk on this fight. It's four to one, Gary. Gary's a stud. Neil Magny's a stud. Gary's ranked number 15 in the world. Neil, Neil Magny used to be ranked in the top 15 in the world. I feel like it's a wash, and I understand you got this up and coming. That's just what the sport is, right? Neil did that to a whole bunch of guys, and now... People are betting that Gary's going to do it to him. I know I've been bitching about it all week, but my final analysis is that I think that Gary's going to win. So what's the difference, right? I mean, if you got a risk and it's four to one, but you're going to win, I understand that to a degree. But here's the thing. Here's the thing about this fight, okay? There's a lot of questions around Gary. And when we talk about, we have questions about a guy. How's he going to do in championship rounds? How's he going to do with adversity? How's he going to do with a grappler? How's he going to do when his nose gets busted and it hurts and there's 15 minutes left? Like, there's all, there's all sorts of questions, right? Until we have enough data, until we see enough things. And I feel like most of those boxes are checked for Magni. And I overheard... I was part of a conversation. Two other guys were talking. I didn't weigh in on it. I overheard a conversation yesterday about Magni, that he's lost two of his last three. Excuse me. Excuse me. He lost to Gilbert Burns when he got caught in a submission, and everybody else that's ever been put in a submission by Gilbert Burns in the first round also tapped. He's the highest-ranking Abu Dhabi medalist in the organization, okay? And then he fought Rachmano. And by the way survived longer than most. I throw those, I don't count them. I mean, I don't know how you would in a discussion like this. He's taken on a number 15, and you're going to tell me that because he lost to a 16-0 undefeated guy that nobody else will even fight, and because he got tapped while drying a first round against the bronze medal, I, 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 you're losing me. You're losing me on that. So if I can get you there, I mean, if you're just going purely on what have you done for me lately, I get that. But if you dismiss those two things, you go to Sure Dog right now, you bring up the record, and you dismiss those, and you take a look at this fight, just on that, just on record, just on what could be done. Because when I tell you that we got questions on Gary, we got questions on all the new guys, right? All the new guys that we haven't seen a lot of footage of. The one thing that I'm not positive you understand at home, they don't know the answers to those questions either. What would happen if he shut your eye with his first punch? You have 15 minutes to go, and now you got an eye closed. What would happen? I'm just doing it. I'll fight him blind if I have to. Well, w would you really? Have you ever been in that spot? Did you ever have the foresight to go through practice and do a round where you closed an eye just in case that happened? And that's before we even get to the pain. Like, have you ever actually done that? It doesn't take a lot. You just close an eye. Have you ever done that? Can you fight with an eye shot? I mean, I'm just asking you these types of questions. Because they don't know either. How are you going to do a championship round? I never get tired. I got cardio for days. Shut up. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not content. Nobody's getting tired at that level. You ain't going to get Neil Magny tired. Not that you're going championship rounds. I'm just sharing for you. There's still questions. And... I just think there's a lot of things you got to look at with Gary. Gary has reach and Gary has length. And in every fight he's ever competed in, at least within the octagon that I've got to see, he used that reach and length. He does not have that advantage over Magni. It's extremely relevant. Perhaps. 
do you guys remember Zab Judah? And Mayweather didn't want to fight Zab. Now, he did. But Mayweather didn't want to fight Zab. And the reason that we're told is Zab had some losses and may even beat up the guys that beat up Zab. Ray got any kind of a meaningful bracket, it's Mayweather. But there's a lot of people within the boxing industry that really wanted to see that fight. And they want to see it more the more Mayweather avoided it. And Mayweather avoided it allegedly because of the southpaw. He just had a problem with that. And that's a thing for a lot of guys. I have heard a lot of guys say that. Well, I'm fighting a southpaw. I need to train with southpaws. I've, I've heard that. I fought 51 men. I don't have any idea if I've ever fought in a southpaw. I don't know. How would I know? Well, I guess I'd look at his feet. Whatever, whatever leg is leading. If he leads with a certain leg, he's a southpaw. That's supposed to be confusing. He, he, he leads this leg instead of this. He's only got two legs. One of them has to be in front. So if a certain one is in front, I'm supposed to not know how to fight him. I, mean, I truly don't know if I've ever fought in a southpaw. I would assume that I had out of 51. I've never asked. I've never looked into it. Wouldn't make a goddamn bit of difference. I have no idea anything about that. What other guys do? Other guys do. Hey, that matters. And I'm just sharing for you. How are you going to do when the biggest advantage you had, or what appeared to be a big advantage, that reach, all of a sudden you no longer had? Oh, and by the way, two weeks ago when you had Jeff Neal, you had it. Two weeks ago, when this opponent changed, you find out my big advantage is no longer an advantage. It's a wash. I don't know if it's a big... I don't know, guys. I don't know. But what I'm telling you is you don't either. And what might surprise you is Gary doesn't know. He doesn't know. Neil Magna get his hands on you. When Neil Magna gets his hands on you, it's a problem for everybody. I th I'm interested in the match. I'm taking Gary. I admit it, I'm taking Gary. But I like the fight. And four to one, that represents dominance. You want a real prediction here? I do not believe that we have dominance. There you go. 